Haftarak is very interesting because it, um, it's, if you listen to it first, one can hear that it is based on Germanic folk music, Dutch folk melodies, whatever. But it has been Africanized, and it's a kind of a Creole music in a way as well. Pastrup is not an urban music. It is more in the rural areas around Cape Town and throughout South Africa. It can be seen as the folk music of the Afrikaans-speaking people of South Africa. Um, and these include everybody from the elite, the farmers, the Buddha, to the working class um, people, the ancestors of the Khoisan people, now mostly speak Afrikaans throughout South Africa, and they all share this common music, which is Fastra. Now, if Fastra, when played by... I went into many journeys into remote areas, onto farms, and the ironic thing is that the farmers, the kind of uh, Afrikaner, Buddha, white farmers, would be playing the Sastrap music, but then the people who worked on the farms, who were the ancestors of the Khoisan mostly, would also be playing the same music, um, which showed to me that there is a kind of common history, even though they themselves wouldn't speak about it openly. So it's the same music, but when the farmers play it, it sounds a little bit more Germanic, <laughs> rhythmically, it's a bit more rigid. Um, and when it's played by the more working class people, there's a different kind of African backbeat to it, even though it's the same song. So, just both hands, a song like this. Before you move away from mm. the fast trap, maybe you could briefly also talk about what you did with the fast trap in the past 10 years when you turned it into the uh, Gramadula sound. <laughs> well, I've tried all. You know, we still live in such a complicated country, and one of the, I made it my personal mission to try and point out to Afrikaners who, who, on the whole, still cling to their ideal of, of uh, superiority because of. Um, 
I mean, it's, it sounds ridiculous, but there is a kind of notion in, in, among Afrikaners that being European automatically means that you have a kind of superiority culturally. Mm. And this is something that needs to be broken because the Afrikaners' culture is rooted in non-European um, um, uh, music um, and cultural practices as mm. it is. You know. And what is superior about you? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, yeah. All cultures are so lovely. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, but, but anyway, so, so I made it my mission to kind of try and present Fastrap in a very African way and in a non-European way, even though it is kind of... So I, I mean, I made psychedelic Fastrap. I started out with that. Yeah. Um, I've made uh, electronic Fastrap uh, based on, you know, dance music. I anything just to kind of break the preconceived ideas people have about it. Because in the past, people were very embarrassed about fast trap as a kind of music. Yeah. It was always associated with being backward and old-fashioned and rural. Rural, basically the kind of it's rural. It's not. So, so 